Hi, I'm Richard Byrne. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can download and or borrow text from the Internet Archive. The Internet Archive has a massive gallery of media that's in the public domain. And let's say I'm looking for text. So let's click on text. And a lot of Robert Frost work just entered the public domain on the first of this year. So let's see what we can find. So I did my search for Robert Frost. Now this is going to pull up not only works that he wrote, but books about his work as well. Uh, so you'll see some things like this one here, which says borrow. If you click on the borrow button, so I'll open up the book and you'll see this book can be borrowed. Now, when you borrow the book, you do have to have a free Internet Archive account to borrow them. You can read it online. You can also download it and have access to it for 14 days. Or I have 13 days left now with this book. To do that, you do have to have Adobe Digital Editions installed as well. When you're done with the book, you can return it. You can have up to five books checked out at a time. Now, if we want to go back and take a look at all of the search results, there are some books, like this one, The Complete Poems of Robert Frost, that doesn't have a borrow button. I can simply click on that. And again, that'll load the entire book. And I can scroll through it and read it here. And then down here on the bottom right corner of the screen, you can see I have a variety of options for downloading the book, including in Kindle format and PDF format and EPUB format, or as a full text file. So that's how you can borrow and or download books from the Internet Archive. As always, for more tips and tricks like this, please check out freetechforteachers.com and practicaledtech.com.